Hey, welcome. I'm uh, back down at the mill today and uh, gonna try to cut up some cedar, I think. I've uh, been down here a little while. In fact, I don't think I've run the tractor in about a month. So, uh, man, the thing just put the key in and started right up like it was nothing at all. Fun, just fun's great. So, I'm really happy with that still. Um, I think that's, you know, I think that's mainly it. I think I'm gonna try to cut up some cedar, uh, some, some siding boards, I guess. Start cutting up more and more of that that I can, so it'll be dry, and hopefully I can get building in the spring. We'll see if I can be building something out of it or not. But um, that's the goal, and uh, so I'm going to bring you along with me, and we're going to cut up some cedar and I don't know, whatever else. that one uh, 
Let's see what I got out of it. I got about seven and three quarters, so I knew that I'd probably have to take some of the outsides off. Maybe I'll bring them all down to seven inches to get them even. We'll see what I have with the next tree. Um, these don't need to be perfect anyway because um, because I'm going to use them for board and batten and uh, so they'll have overlap and they don't even need to really be all the same size. I'll try to keep them as close as I can to the same size. This will look a little nicer but um, anyway uh, that worked out well. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boards out of that and that wasn't a very big tree. Um, I don't think that was even 11 inches around. So not bad. Um, I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. I'm still learning. You know, there's some some uh, natural edge on some of the stuff still, but um, not a big deal. I think it looks nice, and uh, I'll try to find another bigger piece of cedar and see if I can keep doing more of the same. See what we can get out of it. So, and I, I made all these three quarter inch thick. Um, I know they tend to shrink a little bit, but probably won't shrink too much. They're fairly dry. In fact, I was worried they might be starting to rot a little bit, but they look good. They were good inside, other than the ants on one end, so I'll just have to uh, deal with the ants uh, that end, cut that off. But these are, I don't know what they are, over 10 foot. Usually I cut them around 10 and a half, 10 so, six, so that I have room to take off on either end. So, that's it. All right, well that wraps it up. Um, I've got a bunch of the cedar siding done. Not perfect, but um, it'll work well. It's, um, it's kind of like six and a half to seven inch width and um, about three quarter of an inch thickness. So that was just, that was a couple of the smaller logs that I have, but I um, figured I could get it. They were on top, so I figured I'd get cutting on them and get them, get them ripped up. And uh, we'll keep building on that some more, so. That's it for this week. Thank you for joining me. Um, didn't do anything really new or fancy um, or exciting, but uh, it's just stuff that needed to get done as usual. So again, I appreciate you joining me and watching, subscribing, liking, um, clicking the bell to get notified when there's new videos out. And uh, hopefully we'll get some more um, get some more uh, tractor videos in, and you know the sawmill, of course, and the UTV and whatever projects I've got going on. So um, take care, uh, keep working out there, keep uh, fixing things, creating things, and enjoying God's creation all around you, and have a fantastic week. Take care. Bye.